The internet is an amazing place to discover new content. In this year's edition of the Amazing Website series, I will share with you 10 websites we thought were interesting that you may have never seen before. Some of these are for entertainment purposes only, while others might be useful for you in your everyday life. Let's get to it. First up is Photopea. This free online image editor makes a great alternative to Photoshop. I've been testing it out for a while. Here's what I like about it. It's able to import and save as Photoshop PSD files, along with popular export options, including PNG, JPEG, SVG, and many others. Photop is an HTML5 web app, so there's no need for plugins like Flash. The layout is clean. Most of the tools you would ever need are located along the left, and you can work with layers along the right. Photop is truly one of the most impressive web apps I've ever used. Numbio is a site where users submit data regarding cities and countries around the world. A handy tool to check out if you're considering a move to a new location is their cost of living comparison tool. This will compare the cost between two cities. For current city, I'll enter New Orleans. And for comparison city, New York. Then click on compare. It will now show you whether the cost will be higher or lower in various categories with a more detailed breakdown of costs listed below. If the costs are gonna be more expensive in your destination city, you would need a higher salary to maintain your standard of living. This next one is very cool. Rave lets you mix your favorite music videos to create unique mashups. Select Mix It Up to get started. This is where you choose any two of your favorite music videos on YouTube. It can be new or old music, it does not matter. While some of the mashups I created were absolute garbage, some ended up being quite good. Here's a quick example of a mashup that works well. Thunderstruck by ACDC. It's best to find an official music video of the song that you're looking for. For the second song, Ghostbusters. The official music video is way down the list. Here at the bottom, click on Create Mashup. It may take a few minutes for the process to complete. When it's done, your video mashup will begin playing. You can pause at any time to copy the link for your mashup that can be shared with anyone you want. How secure is my password? Let's you know how long it would take a computer program to crack your password. If you're not using a password manager, this is a great way to test the strength of your passwords. Here's a quick example. I'll use one of the worst passwords ever, which is 123456. It says this password would be cracked instantly. It will also give you tips to create stronger passwords listed below. Now here's a quick example of a better password. This one would take 429 billion years for a computer to crack. I don't plan to live that long, so this would be a good password to use. Eat this much is for those of you on a specific type of diet trying to achieve your nutritional goals or watching your weight. It creates meal plans based on your personal preferences. Here's how it works. First, select your diet. If you're not on one of the diets listed like paleo, vegetarian, etc., select anything. This next one is tricky. If you don't know the calories you want to eat, select the calculator, fill in your information, and hit calculate. Doing so will calculate the calories you should be consuming. I'll close this out and leave the calories at 2000. Instead of three meals, I'll change this to four. Then hit generate. If you don't like a specific meal, hit the Regenerate button to give you a new meal. If you don't like all of the meals listed, click on the Regenerate button to the right of today's meal plan. This will give you a whole new set of meals to choose from. Here's another interesting one. On the Outrider site, they let you enter in a location to see what would happen if a nuclear blast went off in that area. The location you enter can be an actual street address or just the name of a city. I'll go with New Orleans. It says here, if a W87 landed in the center of New Orleans, that would result in more than 89,000 fatalities. It also gives other effects of the blast. At the top, you can change your location, the type of bomb used, and the blast type. Currently it's on surface, an airburst will impact a larger area. 
Giphy is an excellent source for some of the most popular GIFs on the internet. Is it pronounced GIF or JIF? My opinion, who the blank cares? I'll just call it GIF for now. On their homepage, you can see all of the GIFs that are trending or do a search. Mark Zuckerberg has been in the news quite a bit for the wrong reasons for the last couple of years, so let's see what GIFs are available for him. On Giphy, they now host more than 11,000 GIFs of Mark Zuckerberg. If you have embarrassing questions you'd never ask your family or friends, Is It Normal is the place to get the answers you need without anybody knowing who you are. To ask your question, you will need to fill out this form. I'll keep it clean for this example. Select a category. I'll go with technology. Add a few descriptive tags related to your question. I'll go with robot, vacuum, and cleaning. Now ask your question. You have the choice to do a simple yes, no question, multiple choice poll, or discussion only. This one's gonna be a yes, no question. Then give some additional details related to your question. Then when you're done, submit your post. Here's a quick one. If you've been curious how long it would take you to watch an entire TV series, time will do the calculation for you. Just enter your show. I'll use The Last Kingdom, for example. Select it, then click the big arrow to the right. In this example, to binge watch all three seasons of The Last Kingdom, it would take you one day and two hours. With just about every major news outlet here in the United States being accused of dispensing fake news, it's about time the satirical news website, The Onion, received the attention they deserve. They are the true pioneers of fake news coverage and damn good at it too. Many of you may be familiar with The Onion already, but I had to add it to this video after reading this article regarding the Pope. It just may be the funniest thing I've ever read. Here's a bonus site. The Sleepy Time Bedtime Calculator helps you to find the best time to go to sleep so you wake up feeling rested. Just enter the time that you wake up. For me, that would be 5 a.m. Then calculate. They claim that you will feel tired and groggy if you wake up in the middle of a sleep cycle. According to their calculations, 8 p.m., 9.30 p.m., 11 p.m., or 12.30 a.m. would be the best times for me to fall asleep to wake up feeling refreshed. So if you feel like crap whenever you wake up, the site might be able to help you out. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you know of an amazing website not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the latest amazing websites and other tech-related stuff from Techumbo.